At this point, you may wonder why you need a strong password in the first place. Even if most websites are safe, there is still a danger that someone will try to access or exploit your information. A strong password is among the most effective ways to protect your accounts and personal information from hackers. You should follow certain rules and guidelines while creating a strong password. Password managers are also recommended to help remember the created passwords for convenience of usage. With that being said, Let's take a look at the topics we are covering today. We start by learning about the state of password cracking in today's world and why creating strong passwords is an absolute must for every account. Next, we will look at some guidelines and rules that help strengthen passwords and make password cracking a daunting task for hackers. Moving on, we understand why passphrases have grown in popularity and are being recommended for credential protection over traditional passwords. And finally, we take a look at how password managers help alleviate the problem of creating and remembering complex passwords along with other critical personal information. Let's start by learning about why strong passwords have become an absolute necessity. One of the most common ways that hackers break into computers is by guessing passwords. Simple and commonly used passwords enable intruders to easily gain access and control a computing device. Conversely, a password that is difficult to guess makes it prohibitively difficult for common hackers to break into a machine and will force them to look for another target. The more difficult the password, the lower the likelihood that one's computer will fall victim to an unwanted intrusion. Many individuals opt to tie their websites to something they can readily recall to generally easy, memorable combos. However, this does not make the password unique. In fact, it's the reverse. Passwords are handled by 53% of individuals using their recollections and memory. With modern computational standards, simple passwords take seconds and a couple of minutes at worst to be completely brute forced. According to global surveys, more than 60% of people use the same passwords for their personal and job applications. While this may allow the user never to forget the password, it makes a single point of failure the only pin to drop. If one of the accounts gets breached, all subsequent accounts are as good as hacked. To further elaborate on how you can create strong passwords, let's go through some of the guidelines. Let's go through some do's and don'ts to understand how to create new passwords for our accounts. It is recommended to keep the password length at least 12 characters to ensure brute forcing to be difficult. A combination of upper and lowercase alphabets is an absolute necessity when creating strong passwords. It is also recommended to use numerics along with those alphabets to create a complicated password. Finally, special characters help in making a password much more brute force resistant than any number of alphabets or letters can make. Moving over to the don'ts section, it is absolutely not recommended to keep simple dictionary terms such as computer or even the word password as your credential because those are very easy to be brute forced and are usually present in majority of the dictionary attack word list. Similarly, changing a single alphabet or a single character in a dictionary word does not make it brute force resistant considering there are already algorithms present that can counter this tactic. Using the same character multiple times in a password also reduces the strength and makes it easier to crack for hackers. Apart from using single characters multiple times, following patterns that are present on the traditional English keyboard such as key W-E-R-T-Y or the line below the main alphabet such as the Z-X, C, V, B, N, M, etc. make it easier to guess since these are once again common combinations that are present in word list already. Finally, the most important part being not using personal information such as birthdays, addresses, and other important information in the passwords. More often than not, if a hacker is trying to break into your account, there has been some amount of research done, be it via social media or any other medium. If they have already this information present with them, breaking into your account becomes all the more easier. Now that you understand how to create strong password, look at how passphrases have become prevalent as a replacement for plain text passwords.
A passphrase is a sentence-like string of words used for authentication that is longer than a traditional password, easy to remember, and difficult to crack. Typical passwords range on an average from 8 to 16 characters, while passphrases can reach up to 100 characters or more. Using a long passphrase instead of a short password to create a digital signature is one of the many ways that users can strengthen the security of their data, devices, and accounts. The longer a passphrase is, the more likely a user is to incorporate bits of entropy or factors that make it less predictable to potential attackers. As more websites, applications, and services increase their user security requirements, a passphrase is a fast and easy way to meet these criteria. Let's take a look at some of the advantages that passphrases have over common passwords. Passphrases are simpler to remember than just a random assortment of symbols and characters. It's easier to comprehend a line from your favorite song or a quotation than a short but difficult password. Passwords are reasonably easy for humans and robots to guess or crack. Online thieves have also advanced and created cutting-edge hacking tools to crack even the most complex passwords. Passphrases are nearly hard to crack since most efficient password cracking programs fail at approximately 10 characters. As a result, even the most sophisticated cracking tool will be unable to guess brute force or pre-compute these passwords. Compliance with password setting rules with ease are passphrases. The usage of punctuation and upper and lower case passwords satisfy the password complexity criteria. Most operating systems and apps support passphrases. Phrases of up to 127 characters are permitted on all major operating systems including Windows, Linux and Mac. As a result, for optimal protection you can use lengthier passphrases. But when creating a strong password, the major problem people come across is remembering these passwords or the passphrases. This is where you can find a use for a password manager. When you establish accounts or change passwords, password managers generate new strong passwords and they keep all of them in one place protected by a single strong master password. If you maintain your master password, the manager will retain everything else including your username, and passphrases and fill them in for you whenever you sign on to a website or app on your computer or phone. There is no good memory needed for this. This implies that everyone may use the most recent suggestions for strong passwords such as extended phrases, symbols, grammar and capitalization. Password managers enable consumers to write a single master password and automatically fill each website with their own unique set of credentials. And not just passwords, credit card information may be stored securely with several password managers. Some others make multi-factor authentication or use a second test such as answering a question once the correct password is input, which is a simple and effective solution to verify legitimate login inputs. Among the global players in password managers, services like Bitwarden, KeePass and Dashlane have been running for years now and are very worthy recommendations if you want to get started with password management. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us in the comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.